Yes, he's a very funny comedian. He's got a new CD out called uh, I Guess We'll Never Know, which is in stores and online, which is a kind of internet thing. <laughs> <laughs> I checked with our technical department. Apparently, that's true. <laughs> Please welcome Matt Kirshen, everybody. Matt Kirshen. Thank you, you lovely Americans. Look at you, lovely and American and happy and polite. Uh, I know, that got a laugh because no one's ever told you that before, have they? No one has ever told you in the history of you being Americans that you're polite people. You have no idea. <laughs> like, you think we're the polite ones. We are not. We are mean-spirited, arrogant people. But we sound delightful. <laughs> Just got here as well. It was a 12 hour flight. It's half a day. Half a day stuck in the same seat with nothing to do but watch TV on demand and eat and drink and nap. It was amazing. <laughs> oh, I loved it. It was a day doing nothing with no guilt. Nowhere else I could be. Phone didn't work. Computer only had an hour of battery and I couldn't recharge mine because I was in economy class. We don't get trusted with electricity. <laughs> You know that, right? Now the expensive seats get little power sockets, but economy, well, we can't give the poor people electricity. <laughs> I mean, they'll probably start shaving each other. <laughs> Look at them disgusting creatures. We give them food, but none of it goes in their mouths. <laughs> I've been travelling so much. I was in Finland. Uh, they took me to this restaurant in Finland where they serve reindeer. It's weird, right? <laughs> yeah, any of you guys ever eaten an animal you didn't think existed? <laughs> I genuinely thought they were just the magical things that Santa had. I had no idea. <laughs> That's peculiar. I found on the same day, reindeer are real and delicious. <laughs> How was that? You shouldn't be learning biology from a menu, should you? <laughs> What's for dessert? The Tooth Fairy? <laughs> Lego Mr. Tumnus? Where is this? What is this place? <laughs> You're killing my childhood. <laughs> my awkward, weird childhood. <laughs> Was I was an awkward kid. I was that kid. I, I was little. I had was far sighted. I had a lazy eye. Yeah. Do you know the treatment? For, thank you, madam. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> that pity laugh. Do you, do you know the treatment for a lazy eye? Anyone? It's a patch. <laughs> you put a patch over the other non-lazy eye to make the lazy eye not lazy. <laughs> That's it. That's the best that science has come up with. That's all we've got in the 21st century. That's the best we've managed. That's amazing, isn't it? That's like something a Victorian nanny would come up with, isn't it? Like, no, don't help the other eye. I'll never learn. If that eye can't fend for itself by now, it'll never be able to. Hit the lazy eye. Hit it. Punish it. And when you're a kid with a lazy eye, your parents try and dress that up as a good thing, don't they? Because they, they love you. They want to make it into a positive. They're like, oh, look at you, you lucky thing. You get to have an eye patch. <laughs> That's cool, isn't it? <laughs> you, you're like a pirate. <laughs> Aren't you who's a little pirate? <laughs> Even as a ten-year-old, you know you look nothing like a pirate. <laughs> pirate's eye patches are black. They've got a skull and crossbones and a bit of elastic. That's what pirates have worn for centuries. <laughs> Kids with lazy eye eye patches are beige, <laughs> adhesive, and if you're really lucky, if you want to look like the ten-year-old with class, they will stick it to the front of your glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? As if it's not bad enough you're the glasses kid, right? <laughs> now they're accessorised. <laughs> I was like, sorry, kiddo, you're gonna need leg braces, but don't worry, we'll put some blinky lights on the side of them. Just, <laughs> just so everyone can see which way you're gonna topple. <laughs> you know what they look like? You know what the lazy eye uh, patches look like? You know when you get the band-aid multi-packs, like the different shapes and sizes of band-aids, but there's that one massive one left over <laughs> that no one has ever used. <laughs> For the very simple reason that any injury big enough to be covered by it <laughs> is far too severe <laughs> for just a band-aid. Who's ever used that in the history of the world? Oh my god, I've been shot. I've been shot. We're gonna need the big one. Get the big band-aid. <laughs> but I don't care, just rip it off the kid's face. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you've been an absolute delight. Thank you so much for listening to me.
Take care. I'm Matt Kershaw. Thank you very much.